based on Invest 92W, which has been designated as a tropical depression by the Japan Meteorological Agency. It's at 4.9 degrees north, 159.9 degrees east at 11 a.m. Shimoro Standard Time this February 19th. On the CDPS scale, the projection shows it at a very high um, for its potential impacts. Now this is just for if it was to make landfall on one of those Mariana Islands we'd be looking at a stage 6 at this time which would be catastrophic. It's not currently at that level at this time. That's the new rules from the CDPS scale which was reformed not so long ago. 25 miles an hour, 1003 millibars and there's its current location in relation to some of those uh, Micronesian islands. 169 miles from Pompeii, 579 from Chuk, 1180 from Guam, 1183 from Rota and 1192 from Tinian. This storm could go on to affect some or all of those islands. No warnings are in effect at this time for what it is a tropical depression from the JMA. Still not at that stage yet according to the Joint Typhoon Warning Center but they do expect formation very soon. Uh, this is the model runs, this is what we expect over the next few days as we get into our Tuesday into Wednesday. You can see what we're looking at here, the storm appearing on the bottom right hand side of the screen, moving in over some of those Mariana Islands. This is the GFS, uh, the Magnesian Islands, sorry, this is the GFS run showing what is a significant mature typhoon approaching the Mariana Islands by the end of the week into the weekend coming up and then by Sunday into Monday. It will be making its closest approach to those islands. That is the GFS solution. Other model runs notably disagree a little bit on the track and take it further west. So we'll have to wait and see whether it might be a threat to even the Philippines at this point. It's very early on in uh, this system. Sea surface temperatures there, very warm, 27 or so. Not as warm, of course, as it is in the summer, uh, but still warm enough to sustain a tropical cyclone all the way up to the Mariana Islands and to the northern part of the Philippines. Again, here's another look. Uh, you can't see the system until late on in this run. You can see it moving in there. The green areas at the bottom right hand side, that's tropical storm force winds. The yellows, that's typhoon force winds. And then you can see those darker shades of orange and red, which shows that it's a category three or four by that point as it moves through. HWRF also wants a category four, I believe. Um, and some other models have significant intensification. I don't think any of them are saying any less than category one at this point. Chances of tropical storm force winds are very speculative still at this time, but they look like this. 25% in Pompeii in Micronesia, 45% in Guam. That's the highest out of all of them there, so there is a concern. There's some of the models, the CTCX also on board with a major typhoon. Um, and the other ones there I think are statistical, so those aren't relevant apart from GFS and HWRF, which we already covered. Uh, wind shear will rise a little bit after a bit of fall. Uh, relative humidity is looking pretty good despite huge amounts of dry air well off to the storms the systems northwest. It's starting at a pretty low latitude uh, but it will gain more latitude over time and I expect more development will occur a little bit later on. It's not really, we don't think it's going to happen in the next 24 hours but it could just get over that threshold of tropical storm status in that time. This is how the system's been appearing over the last few hours. The uh, NOAA floaters, um, just that little bit of convection near what we think is the center there in those latest frames, possibly pushing it over the threshold for tropical depression um, as per the JMA. We'll see if the JTWC gets on board with that as well. It's not going to be at this update though. They'll be doing it at some point in the future if they do. That's all for now. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest. You can also find our YouTube page, you're probably there already, but if not, subscribe if you haven't so far. You can also find our Facebook page, Force 13 all in text, and it's at Force 13 on Twitter if you'd like to get in touch with us on there. You can also help the project reach the next level by becoming a patron. It makes us even better and you can reap your own benefits from becoming a patron at patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these patrons, too many to read out individually, but we thank them very much for their support through the project over several months now. 
You can also find Force 13 on Skype and Fool 13 on Discord at extension 9094 for Tropical Weather Chat.